Tip 32. AUC is an excellent evaluation metric for binary classification, especially if you have class imbalance. And new in point two two, AUC can be used with multi-class problems, and there are two different strategies, one versus one, one versus rest. So let's talk about this. So AUC is an evaluation metric for classification, just like accuracy is an evaluation metric and many others. AUC is designed around binary classification. So the thing that's new is the ability to use it with multi-class problems, meaning classification problems in which you have three or more classes. So in this tip, I show you how to do multi-class AUC in two different ways. One is with train test split, and you have to say, like, you pass this multi-class argument, and you either say OVO or OVR. If you're using it with cross-val score, you're setting it in the scoring parameter, and you set it as ROC, AUC, OVO, or ROC, AUC, OVR. So this is really tactical. This is how you do it if you need to do it. So the natural question is, what is one versus one and what is one versus rest? Well, because AUC is designed around binary classification, these are some different strategies for calculating AUC for multi-class problems. So one versus one, what it does is it computes the AUC of all possible pairwise combinations of classes and then takes the average to output a single score. Meaning, if you had a three-class problem and you do one versus one, it will calculate the AUC of class one versus class two, class one versus class three, and then class two versus class three. And then it will average those AUCs. One versus rest is a little bit different. It computes the AUC of each class against the rest and then takes the average. So that would be class one versus classes two and three, class two versus the combination of classes one and three, and then class three versus the combination of classes one and two. So those are the two different strategies. If you've heard of one versus all, that is the same as one versus rest, though I find one versus rest to be slightly more clear in that it's a single class versus the rest of the classes. So I have not studied the pros and cons of one versus one and one versus rest, so I can't immediately recommend which is better or under what circumstances each of those is better. Just know that you do have to choose which you're going to use if you use AUC for a multi-class problem. Finally, I make this claim in the tip that it's an excellent evaluation metric, especially if you have class imbalance. There's always debate about what you should use for class imbalance. And I'm not saying AUC is definitely the best in all scenarios if you have class imbalance. I'm just saying it is well suited to class imbalance and nothing I have yet read has changed my mind on that. But if I ever change my mind, I will try to let you know.